Hello, and welcome to the inaugural edition of The Trans-Canadian. I'm your host, Diane, and I am a transgender woman. More specifically, I am a South African Nufi Jewish atheist transgender YouTuber, and in all of Ottawa, there are only 12 of us. But I'm the only one who doesn't work for the federal government. In this episode, I'd like to discuss a place that most of us think is pretty icky, but that all of us attend quite frequently, the public washroom. It's sort of like a green bin. You don't particularly like it, but you know that people around you would be pretty upset if you held off from using it. Some places in the United States have tried to pass so-called bathroom bills. These laws say that you have to use the washroom that corresponds with the sex as recorded on your birth certificate. I know I carry my birth certificate around with me everywhere. Oh look! Handwritten and impossible to forge. I was born in South Africa, so it also includes my race, just in case they decide to bring those bathroom bills back. Some people claim that allowing trans people to use washrooms that align with our gender identity will give sexual predators carte blanche to dress up as a woman and go unchallenged into the ladies' room. They have a point. When I got my criminology degree, we learned how criminals think. A surprising fact is that many criminals willing to commit a heinous crime with a high risk of severe punishment stop Think of that symbol on the washroom and say to themselves, Darn, I was all set to commit a serious crime, but I can't possibly break society's taboo against a man entering a ladies' room. If only I could put on a dress and sneak in, I'd commit my crime, but I can't. I guess I'll just stay home and watch TV instead. So guys, here's a tip. If you want to go into a ladies' room unchallenged, don't dress up like this. No. Dress up like this instead. Now, I think we should ban toilets from being fixed. It's not that plumbers are a problem. Oh no, I don't have anything against actual plumbers. It's just that criminals will exploit this loophole and dress up as plumbers to assault women and this must be stopped. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't understand right-wingers' fixation with toilets and sex. To most people, a public washroom is about as sexy as a roll in the hay. A roll in maggot infested hay, that is. What kind of person would solicit sex in a public washroom? Well, this person. That's former Idaho Senator Larry Craig, who was caught playing footsie with an undercover officer in a public washroom. That's right, folks. We should ban people dressed as Republican senators from public washrooms. Supporters of these bathroom bills are not very clear on the consequences of their bills. Take this fellow. Pretty easy on the eyes, no? Well, he was assigned female at birth. That is, his birth certificate said female. So he'd be told to use the ladies' room by the bathroom bill promoters. That means, perverts, if you want to sneak into the ladies' room, you just have to make yourself look like this fellow. That might be a good thing for the human race's general level of hygiene. Anyway, that's it for me. Maybe I'll make another installment. Subscribe, just in case there's an episode two.